Hi, this is Roger with iGadget Geek, and I have another case review for the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, and these are brought to you by UAG, which stands for Urban Armor Gear, and these cases do retail for $34.95, and you can find these at www.urbanarmorgear.com. Now, these cases are available in several colors. They actually sent me two colors out to review. They sent me the Outland, which is the orange and black, and the Rogue, which is black and yellow. So let's go ahead and dive right into the packaging and take a look. So you can see both of the packages look exactly the same. They kind of have a printed version of the back of the case on the actual cardboard box. Real nice, simple packaging. I really like they didn't you know, waste a lot of material or time on this packaging. Pretty much straightforward packaging. Um, you have a little color tab on both of these. As you can see, we have an orange or a yellow, and that will represent which case you've gotten. So it gives you a little pamphlet thanking you for your purchase and some information about the company. And there's the case itself, and each one does come with a screen shield, microfiber cloth, and a little squeegee. So you will have all-around protection for your iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S. So let's go ahead and get both of these different colors out, and we'll take a look at them. Now there again, here is the black and yellow. Same thing, screen shield, microfiber cloth, and squeegee with that one as well. Let's go ahead and close this up and get these out of the way. So you can see right here they have a really neat kind of industrial look. They actually even have like little uh, screws here on the back, kind of embossed in the back finish. And they have a really unique hardened kind of a... It's not like um, a glossy finish, and it's not really like a soft tone. It's more of like a matte, hard plastic finish on both of these cases, so they're not going to show fingerprints or scuffs nearly as easily as, say, a high-gloss finish or anything like that. Now, all four corners actually have some reinforced material, so if you do drop your phone on any one of the four corners, you are protected. And here's where the actual dual material comes into play. You have the very hard polycarbonate back, and then you have this kind of nice soft TPU material all the way around on the inside. And you have a nice matte black ring around your camera and flash. So in my testing of either of these cases, you don't actually get any washing out or anything like that when taking photos. Alright, let's go ahead and get this installed. I actually have two iPhone 4s here that I'm going to use for this. So we'll start here with the orange and black. And we'll stick that on my iPhone 4 here that has a eye visor and a little skin on the back. What's nice about these cases, it doesn't matter what type of screen shield you are using, they are not going to actually prevent you from using this case. And then I'm going to take this black and yellow and we'll stick it on this iPhone 4 that actually has a white eye visor on it. So as you can see, it doesn't matter if you're using a standard screen shield or even these, eye, these visors that actually are pretty thick. I like using a lot of these in the review so you can see if it doesn't mess this screen shield up, it's not going to mess any screen shield that you already have, as well as the fact that both of these do come with a nice crystal clear screen shield in the packaging. So let's go ahead and take a look around. We're going to start here with the orange, and here's the black and yellow. Both of them have a nice generous cutout on the bottom for your 30-pin dock connector, your speaker, and microphone. Now on this side, as you can see, both of the volume up and down buttons are covered and you have that nice elongated cutout there for your silent switch that's going to allow you to accommodate all versions of the iPhone 4 or any version of the iPhone 4S on the top you have a nice teardrop cutout for your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and secondary mic and the sleep wake button is covered with this piece of TPU but it actually has kind of got a nice little rough pattern to it so it makes it very easy to push and it is very responsive. You can still actually feel the tactile feedback and hear the click. Where your SIM card goes, there is no openings. There again on the back, they both have that same kind of very rugged industrial pattern with the actual little hex bolts there and the matte finish trim ring around the camera and flash. Now they both do have a nice little lip for lay on the table. It really shows up good on this yellow against the white. So if you set these face down, or on the back you're going to be protected and with these nice beefed up four corners if you were to drop this case you're going to get a lot of protection from droppage so all in all for thirty five dollars you get a really unique looking very rugged case that is again available in several different colors as you can see in this pamphlet they have 
the black and orange, a black and blue, a orange and black, a white and black, and this is kind of a camo green and black, and then they have like a stealth version which is black on black. Now all of these do retail for $34.95 and you can pick these up at UrbanArmorGear.com and that has been my full review of the UAG case for the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S and this has been Roger with iGadgetGeek.